you can always use a at home dry cleaning kit. I use those for mainly the items that say dry clean only. And a lot of times that's mainly what I thrift in a thrift store is even like silk tops, blazers. Most at home dry cleaning kits comes with a cleaning cloth that you can throw in the dryer with your five items and it sanitizes and cleans it in the dryer. You have to dry it for at least 20 minutes. Now, not everybody just is okay with that. And I understand that. So that's why I recommend hand washing what you can prior to doing the at home dry cleaning kit. Hey everybody, my name is Aisha Gilchrist and today I will be showing you how to overhaul your wardrobe in just one day, but only at thrift stores. Let's go. Hmm. into a thrift store, I'm always going into the blazer section. If you get into the men's department, now that's where I always fall in love because the men's section, they always have the oversized look and I love anything that's dramatic. I love anything that I can transform. In the men's department, it gives me room to play around. While I went thrifting this time, when I was in the men's department, I actually found a blazer that had money in it, y'all. You can literally hear the change in it. There's so much change in there and then, I think there's like some type of bill in here. I can feel it. This is gonna be my lucky blazer from now on. You just never know what you're gonna find when you go into a thrift store. But when I'm going thrifting, most of the time, I'm always on the lookout for something that's true vintage. And true vintage is not as easy to come across as you guys may think. You can usually spot it out by just looking at the tag. It may have a union tag or it might say made in the USA. A lot of our clothing is not made in the US anymore. It's all come from overseas and whatnot. So definitely look out for true vintage. If you can find that, then you have already scored big time. So one of the many items that I love to get are the granny two-piece sets. The sets that I used to see my grandmothers wearing to church. The details on these granny two-piece sets were always popping to me. So I just always gravitated towards those. The prints, the patterns, even the granny dresses you can spice up with a little leg out. You know, you can do a whole lot with these granny two-piece sets. So when it comes to stains, I always try to pass on the items that might have black or brown stains. And I'm gonna tell you why. Black and brown stains kind of can represent um, infestation. Not saying that's what it is, but if I don't know what kind of stain it is, I'm just gonna leave it there because those are sometimes harder to come out of the clothing where if it's just a rip or a tear, I can just stitch that back up. But stains, if I can avoid a problem, I'm just gonna avoid it before it even becomes a problem. Now my last tip is all about sanitizing your thrift store finds. So I like to get antibacterial spray and before I bring anything into my home, I spray everything down. Sometimes I even leave the bags in my trunk or the garage for maybe two to three days at a time to just make sure I'm not bringing anything into my home. 